What a treat it was to have Steve Smith on the Howie Games podcast. It goes for nearly two hours. It is a fascinating insight into one of the world's best cricketers. Go back and check out the entire back catalogue. You can hit subscribe down here so you don't miss any of these YouTube clips. But Steve, whew, he's a pretty relaxed character away from cricket. Out in the middle, obviously, all those eccentricities, the idiosyncrasies where he gets the shirt right and the pants and the box and the gloves. All those little things, though, they help Steve to be the player he is today. So you get, hopefully you can hear this, the question from the Big Penguin. Are you ready? Go for it. Hi, Smitty. Big Penguin here. I love your batting style. I really want to bat like you when I'm older or when I'm young. It doesn't matter. I've got two bats. One is a kookaburra and it's a bit small now, but last year it fitted me. And my other one's also a kookaburra and it fits me. So I've got two. To a test match, I really like to know. Rightio. How many bats do I take to a test match? Um, oh, it varies depending on how recent a delivery of new bats I got. Um, so I do like new bats. I like going out. Sometimes I just go straight out with a bat without having a hit with it if it feels good. Um, so oh, I'll say I have anywhere between eight and 13 at times. How do you go with the excess baggage when you roll up with the 13 bat smitty? 13. <laughs> yeah, no good. Um, <laughs> it's, it's too many. But, uh, oh, you know, you, you need to be part of preparation, you know, just make sure you've got everything right. And, uh, yeah, for me, if I, um, you know, if for some reason the bat feels a bit different, I need to change, then... Um, you know, I like it. So, yeah, I guess I've always just carried a lot of equipment around with me, you know, loads of gloves. Loads How many of gloves? I, I love being there in the test morning and if you're overnight, the, the gloves are all lined up, the, the sweat's drying out of them. Do you put numbers on them? Have I seen numbers on them? Yeah. So, yeah, always put numbers on. Um, so How I many, know which pair goes together. How many pair of gloves would you go through if you're batting a full day in test cricket in the middle of summer in Australia? I'd say... Somewhere between uh, 12 and 15. And I'd probably I'd change every... I think the guys, <laughs> the 12 is no. They know it's about, it's about 15 minutes. So, uh, yeah, they're ready to go um, at about the 15-minute mark. So, um, yeah, always... You know, you don't want any excuses, you know. You're like, for me, if, it's, if my glove's getting a bit wet, I change. You know, I don't want to be, again, sitting there thinking, why didn't I change my glove? My, when I tried to hit one and my, my hand was a bit wet and my, my bat slipped out of my hand, that's an, like, it's an excuse that I don't need. So get rid of it and get some fresh ones that are, that are dry so you don't have any excuses. While we're talking about your idiosyncrasies, Steve, there's various urban legends about you. You can put them to pass. Some of them I know are true. Others I don't know are true. We'll talk about them. Sure. Your current coach uh, who's been on this show, Justin, I remember telling him telling me a story about shadow batting in his hotel room in the middle of the night in his jocks. Are you a shadow batter in your hotel room? I am. Uh, I always, regardless of um, where I am, I always have a um, a bat in my room in the in the hotel. So quite often, um, you know, I think the guys have become accustomed to my uh, my tapping sequence as such. You know, the one in the middle and two behind. Um, the blokes next to you in the room. Yeah, I think they, <laughs> they know what it is. So every now and again, I'll get a. We'll be on our group WhatsApp, and um, I think Paddy Cummins has done it a few times. He's been, he's been like five or six rooms away from me, and said, "Steve, are you batting again?" <laughs> um, he'd he'd uh, distract me from my shadow batting. I'd look down at my phone, and I'd say, "Yeah, absolutely." You know, Trying to get a few runs in before I go out there. I've heard you discuss this about at times forgetting, in your words, how to hold the bat. What does that mean? Yeah, it happens uh, too often. Um, yeah, I just don't know how my hands go on the bat sometimes. Um, I don't know why or how it happens, um, but it just... I don't know, it does. And in the uh, middle of an innings or? No, it, ha it hasn't happened too many times out in the middle. It did happen once. It was a, uh, 
<laughs> it was a, a test match um, at the Wacker and uh, against New Zealand. And in, in the first innings, I remember I, was, I think I was batting with Adam Boges. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember telling him, he was batting with me and I was like, man, like I'm, I've, I've, I've lost my hands. Like, I don't, I don't know how to hold the bat. And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, hey, I don't know how to hold the bat. And then I was like, I played a shot and I was like, right, I think I've got it back. I, hit, I think I hit a boundary. And then I was like, right, I think I've got it back. And Matt Henry was bowling to me and I actually gave, I gave in to one of my urges then because I was, I was kind of frustrated that I couldn't find my hands. And then I found them. So I was like, geez, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try and smack him here. The wicket was pretty good and the whack out's quite short straight. So I was like, I'll try and smack him. And I ended up um, nicking it, I think. And, uh, or did I get... I nicked it or get bowled, I can't remember, but I got out and I, I remember there was a meme made of it, actual innings. It was like my head was in the air and um, the bat was just nowhere. And I remember there was a meme that said like, sometimes you just get a good one. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny, but um, yeah, I lost them and then found them. And then I think I got a hundred in the second innings there and I just sort of clicked back into place. And that was probably the only time it's happened in a game out in the middle it happens in the nets too often. What do you put it down to? Don't know. Don't know. Huh. Actually, that's a lie. It wasn't, it wasn't the only time it happened. It happened in a, we were playing before the 2017 Ashes. We were playing a shield game at, um, at Hurstville. And um, this is, I don't know who the umpire was. I can't remember, but he probably would have got one of the strangest requests from me on that day. I couldn't find my hands and then I finally found them. So I got to the point where I was holding the bat and I had someone with a, a, uh, with a, um, a Sharpie out there marking like a point of where my glove was on the, uh, on the handle of the bat, on the grip. Wow. And then on my left hand, the same. So I was like, yeah, that's how I hold it. So I could see where it was. And then I think <laughs> I played a few big shots. I was slogging a bit of the innings and the grip moves, I was gone again. Hey guys, Howie here. Thank you so much for watching the Howie Games YouTube channel. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you watch plenty more clips. Now, if you want to get the full podcast from the clip you've just heard, you can see the full link on the description. If you want to subscribe to the Howie Games YouTube channel, which we would love, just click on the button below. And if you want to see more content from the Howie Games, over to your right, all the clips are there. Thank you once again so much. And as always, peace and love.